impossible. But then again, well, don't be, just blow up too much like a second-hand car salesman. And of course, you need to keep your references. This is where you need to go through your exercise of around uh, 100, 200, uh, 100 or so pages of work you have done. So then next question is, well, where do I publish my work? I'm assuming now you're looking at your papers. So there are a lot of venues you can look into, okay? Different journals, uh, um, articles, and um, transactions. I'm not going through the, to, uh, too much details now because I know time is catching up because I've already, well, coming to, initially I was told I only got 30 minutes and we started late. So we started at um, uh, 10 minutes past. So I'll just simply quickly go through the rest of this one so that I don't want to spend too much of time. I know you have another talk coming up at one o'clock the time. So I, I'll concentrate more, more on the conferences because I, I have been involved in I should be in conference quality committee. Now, conferences are important because not only give you the opportunity to publish and also give you the opportunity to listen to other people and also to interact and the networking as well. So if you are publishing as a conference paper, they will appear in the proceedings well, of the conference. So the papers are being reviewed with a specific time frame. You can either be rejected or maybe you get it accepted. Of course, they give you some uh, suggestion. They can also um, make some uh, correction as well. You have some very strict specific limitation on the number of words, on, uh, number of uh, papers as well, and also the formatting requirements. Because a lot of time, the, the conferences, well, they will not do the editorial work for you. Unlike the journals, sometimes the journals, are, they, they, have, um, they will do the editorial work for you, but not in the case of conferences. You must follow the precise requirements or the formatting requirement. So the conference, you've got an opportunity to present your work, to discuss your work and answer the questions and also to meet other researchers as well. And also more importantly, attending a conference, you can listen to other researchers and also the keynote speakers, which I find is very important. Because for a responsible conference, well, well they should really uh, invite so-called keynote speakers. Well, they should be the expert of the field. And then we're talking about specific fields. Uh, or discipline, and this is where you may learn a lot as well. And you could also be invited to publish in the journals well, after the further extension of your work. And this is another added point, well, having a publication in the journal, uh, conferences, you can well, publish it further with a further extension. And, but only thing is well, you need to pay for registration because the other well, um, implicit expenses, maybe you need to travel or accommodation, etc. Conferences, well, uh, journals, as I've said, now you have two systems. One is an open access. Open access, well, that means that well, everyone can get your paper and then you increase your possibility of, of being exposed or maybe uh, citation, cited. But the main disadvantage is that you have to pay for it. Well, the publication fees will actually go to the responsibility of the uh, author. On the other hand, the traditional one, maybe like IEEE, a lot of these, well, payment are done by the readers, okay? Or maybe the members subscribe to the journal. And then, well, you do not need to pay anything well, as, as the author. So you have a choice on that. So a lot of time, this journal are uh, focused on a specific discipline or area of interest. And uh, most of these, well, they're supposed to be peer reviewed. It, so that's why they're assumed to be credible. But then again, not necessarily that all the journals are credible. Some of them, they're only out there for your money. Okay, you be very careful on that, especially a lot of open access nowadays. They are really just out there, well, just to get your money. So publication has to need to go through a few rounds, some meticulous or peer review process. But this is where you can see what the quality of the journals. And if those journals, they're really dodgy, they just try to get your money, they will get you accepted very quickly. They don't even go through border, give you much of a review because they didn't go through it more than likely. So be very careful on that. They just ask you to pay the money. So sometimes some of those journals, they go through the special issues. So they may have some specific questions and they need to address as some specific topics. So in that case, well, you, they have more than likely, they have also more specific deadline as well. So you have a better chance to be published that way as well. So they may also need to, um, they may be free to publish or publication fees required. This is where I mentioned about the open access and the traditional way. In terms of the conference, you may have a lot of other consideration as well. First of all, is the conference theme relevant to your work? Is it difficult to get the papers accepted? No, because again, well, it was relating back to the standing well, of the uh, conferences. I will talk about that very shortly. In Australia, actually, we do rank for those conferences. 
And then, well, are they indexed? To a lot of people, this is very important. And uh, are you expect, uh, what to expect get from it? Um, well, maybe you take a look at who, the organizer's credential and the background, who are the keynote speakers, and also other add-on uh, things you can get from the conference, like the tutorial, workshops, posters, tutorial, industrial visits, social visit, etc. You need to take into consideration whether you need to travel there and also other associated costs. In Australia, well, since we have this issue regarding journals and conferences, we do have a list of the ranked conferences and the journal by this organization called CORE. And on the other hand, we also have Australian councils, well, research council. They're also looking into the measurement of the ERA research excellence and also the impact of the work. The CORE is stand for Computing, well, Computing Research and uh, Education Association of Australia Asia. I'm not going to detail about this one, but what I want to highlight is well, they have ranked for well, the, the, con the conferences, and then well, they have a committee looking at different conferences, and then they rank it according to A star, A, B, C, uh, Australia, Asia, and ranked it on national. So now I'm not saying that well, if you are not ranked, this is no good. I'm not saying that at all. Because sometimes your conference may be new, so they are not even get a chance to have some uh, history. But then again, well, from the management point of view, it may affect, well, the student or, or, the, or, the, uh, uh, or the faculty members whereby they can publish in there or not because university well, may not even support you going to a conference well, if they're not uh, A or A star uh, ranking. So that plays some limitation. And normally for those high ranking conference, it also means that they have high um, rejection rates, very sm much more smaller. This is one of the indication of well, how good they are, they're very competitive. So it's entirely up to you to decide. There are also some other lists as well. I'm not going through all this because I, I'm really rushing now because my time is scheduling up. Well, I finished off by looking at Australian uh, IEEE perspective as conference quality. What we have is we have this, uh, what we call a technical <coughs> program integrity committee. And I have been a member and also chair <coughs> for many years. <coughs> Only I come out well, early this year. I finished well, six or seven years on it. Well, this particular committee, we have the authority to decide well, on the scope and the quality of the papers and thereby decide on the proceedings, whether they're being accepted in the explore or not. And what I can tell you is if you attend a conference, if it's not being accepted in explore, that means that all your effort is being wasted. Not necessarily your fault, but because if the organizer did not do the job properly, then we consider the quality of the proceeding or the conference is no good. We will reject the whole lot. Okay, so that's what happened. But uh, this is a lot of the other issues where we look at a lot of indicators and then we decide. It's not, a, it's not an easy decision and not too many conferences are being rejected, but it happens. And the worst thing is, well, if you publish a paper, if it's not really up to standard, it may have appeared in, in um, Explore, but sometime down the line, you may have received some complaint and we investigate further and the paper could be retracted, okay? So sometimes you, you may come across this well in Explore as well. So what I'm trying to say is very important. Well, when you're writing your research papers, you need to be careful the where you publish, and also, well, you need to make sure that it's being acceptable. Okay, I'm really running out of time. So as a summary, I would say research writing and publication are now integral parts of an academic or research career. Well, even if you're starting to consider as academic career, maybe you're starting already, you must, well, uh, realize the fact that uh, you are expected to write, you are expected to publish. And you really need to start planning early and you need to utilize the opportunities well, with whatever limited resources you have. Conferences are good venues, okay? And um, you can start publish your work and also network with other people in the area. It is important to choose the most appropriate venue to dis dis disseminate and release your research result. And well, having said, well, on one hand, well, we, we see that there are a lot of expectations. So people are under the pressure thinking that it is a publish or perish. But I would rather consider, you should really consider as a publish and prosper. Because you've done your work, you've contributed to the um, community. And as I have said, I'm really glad and proud to say that our work published in 1993 is still being cited even today, uh, 2020, 27 years later. So this is the thing I consider myself have done our part. Okay, so that's all I have today. Um, thank you very much for your attention. And I know that you still have a few more talks today uh, that attend for the rest of the day. In your directions in research, engineering, arts, management, and science with Dreams 2020. And I pray that all your dreams come true as well. Thank you very much. I'm going to stop my presentation. I pass the time back to the organizer. Thank you.
Thank you so much, sir. Uh, part